Hey, this is Clay, CPATMyWay, CPATMyWay.com. Today I'm going to teach you how to do a uh, compliance report on your own with the Luna 2 uh, CPAP machine. As always, if you like the information, remember to hit the uh, thumbs up button. And um, if you want more information from us, subscribe. We're uh, constantly coming out with some new videos to try to help CPAP users. So this is the Luna 2 CPAP machine. And um, if you're trying to get a compliance report, we hope, first of all, you're using the CPAP. But the first thing that you'll want to do is take out your SD card, which I'm gonna pull out there. And then you're going to insert that SD card into your computer. This computer must be connected to the internet so that you can access the, um, the website. But plugs right in. Computer. Once you've done that, all that you have to do is go to icodeconnect.com. And from there, you have the uh, login information here, but you're going to just go to Quick Report. And on Quick Report, you're going to enter your information. So we're just going to do a little dummy one here. And uh, it's very important to enter your therapy start date. I worked for about five minutes today, so my therapy start date is today. You can put in your provider information. This would be where you... Uh, purchase the CPAP from or you, and or your physician information. That'll be the doctor monitoring you. Um, click on SD card and hit next. From here, you're going to find the SD card. I know I put it in my USB drive and then double click on the data and then hit next. Once you do that, it pulls up a nice uh, compliance summary. You'll be able to look at your usage statistics, your compliance summary, um, everything about your device settings, a day by day. Obviously, today I used it for eight minutes, <laughs> and then a um, a nice breakdown of the usage. Uh, obviously, you can see there's not a whole lot of usage over here. <laughs> but what you're most interested in is getting a um, a report that you can take to your doctor or DOT clinic. So you'll do that over here. Select your date range. Most of the time, they're going to want at least a 30 day report. So we'll do a 30 day here. So basically, for the last month. And um, from there, we will generate this PDF report. And here we are at your compliance report. On the compliance report, you will see all of your uh, summary, your device settings, um, everything as far as usage, summary here, apnea hypopnea index, your leak, your average pressure. But probably the most important thing to you out of this is your compliance percentage, which is right here. So you'll see I am 0% compliant. I've used it. Uh, one day for eight minutes so that doesn't even count as a compliant day you have to use it for more than four hours obviously to be considered a compliant day um, the industry standard is 70 percent compliance so uh, with that in mind you would need to use it at least 21 out of the 30 days that you've had it to be considered compliant on the industry standard but from here all you got to do is print your report really super simple and you can take it back to um, your dot clinic or wherever you need it next and it's simple. So uh, it gives you the freedom to develop your own reports. And um, it's, uh, you know, it's obviously manual, but it is something you can do on your own, which is neat. So again, if you like the information, please hit the thumbs up. And uh, if you have any comments or questions, feel free to comment below. We would be happy to do everything we can to answer them.